Hello from Billings, Montana. Ann Brucker, authorized Google education trainer and certified innovator here to tell you about one of my favorite and most underutilized treasures of the Google Apps for Education suite. That's Google Keep. This has been one of my favorites lately. It has so much potential, and so I'm going to show you a few of the many uses for your classroom. First of all, Keep, at its heart, is a really dandy note-taking tool. A student could open a note in Keep by simply navigating to keep.google.com, clicking on Take a Note, and then write to his heart's content. If another student wanted to take notes and maybe keep a checklist of things to do, like a project with multiple parts, she can make her list, show the check boxes, and then check off her items as she conquered them. The reminder feature will send her a notification at a given time or even place. This would be awesome for a student who has trouble staying organized or meeting deadlines. As a teacher, you have an invaluable tool for working with differentiated groups using these same set of tools. Since you can color code notes, you could create a note, make copies of the note, color code for each group, and then modify the tasks for that set of students. When it comes to differentiation, Keep helps you keep track in another useful way too. Because you can create labels, you could create a label for each student in your class, and then when you assign a note and share it with students in a particular group, you can label it with their names to filter out their tasks. All of the filters are listed in the settings on the left side. You or your students can filter by label or even reminders. Here's another idea for using Keep. Do you ever come across a photograph that tells a really interesting story? Upload it in a Keep note, make copies, and share it with each student. Yes, you have to share it with each student, unless you want them to collaborate, which is also cool. Ask the question for your title, and then let them do a pre-write by answering the question in the body of the note. After the content of their note has a chance to marinate for a day or two, have your students copy their notes to a Google Doc where they can add detail, adjectives, stretch their sentences, all that writing stuff. One of my favorite things about starting a piece of writing in this way is that there are no formatting options in Keep. Many students want to make their text look pretty before concentrating on what they actually have to say, but Google Keep basically forces them to concentrate on content first. Another idea is to use Keep to create photo scavenger hunts. Have a list of geometric shapes you want your students to find? Maybe a collection of scientific vocabulary you want them to identify? Load the Keep app on your tablet or iPad lab, or better yet, have your students get it on their own devices. List the target items in a Keep note. Right there on the note, add a link to a shared folder in Drive so students can just take photos right inside that folder. If, however, you don't need to collect the photos, have them add them right there in Keep if they're using the app. Now, speaking of the app, this is one of the handiest features there is. Since Keep is a Google app, it is, by definition, cloud-based and collaborative. I actually keep a note on which my husband and my children are shared. It's where we keep our grocery list, so whoever gets to the store next gets to buy the stuff. In your classroom, this might look like a shared responsibility list. What needs to be done around your room? When something does need to be done, anyone can add to the list and anyone can tackle it and cross it off. When it needs to be done again, just uncheck it to add it back to the list. Another useful feature of the mobile app is that you can record audio notes. This could be really useful in the classroom as students could use it to record and measure their fluency. It's Blatt's first day at cat school, and he's worried, so worried, he decides to bring along his pet mouse, Seymour. Not only will they be able to listen to themselves read, which is great for self-correction, but Keep will record the text exactly as it is pronounced, punctuation and all. If they don't use punctuation, after listening to their reading and comparing it to what was written, students could easily take that text, copy it into a Google Doc, access the doc to make edits for capitalization, punctuation, word correction, and so on. And then, when they finished making their edits, just use the Take a Picture feature in the app to snap a picture of the real text so they can compare their corrections with the actual author's text. 
Then have them read the text again and check the timing to see how their fluency improved. One other thing I love about the Google Keep app is how easy it is to send and receive content to and from a Google Keep note. First, to send a note, all you have to do is click on the note, hit send, and then share however you want to. If I'm on a web page and I want to basically bookmark it or mark it as a resource and a research project or just remember to come back to it, when I go to share, I can actually go over to the three dots and turn on the option to send it to keep. Once that option shows, if I just tap keep, that link will be made into its own Google Keep note. Really useful for research. With all of these useful features, it really is no wonder that Google Keep has become one of the things I love in the suite of awesome tools we call Google Apps for Education.